eh, ayos na kagad yung paa niya. Tumatakbo. Palayo. Ibigay mo na lamang. It's a credit to his hard work. Mahirap nga naman ang maglimos. That dignity, you have to sacrifice. Katuwa mong Pilipino sa ibang bansa. Sometimes, it is better to be kind rather than to be always right. Maaring tama ang ginagawa natin, umiiwas tayo na makagawa ng mali, pero sa pag-iwas natin sa paggawa ng mali, hindi na tayo nakakagawa ng kabutihan at tama sa kapwa. It's good to be always right in your speech, in your discussion and arguments, but it is not enough. Kuminsan sa pagiging tama at righteous, nawawalan na ito. We become ruthless, merciless with our neighbor. And finally, the character of the Samaritan. You know, for the Jews, the Samaritans are the art enemies of the Jews. They are what we call heretics, schismatics, impure people, half bread, half breed people. But again, surprisingly, itong Samaritan who know nothing about the law. He was the one who fulfilled the very spirit of the law, charity. Kung minsan, yung kaalaman natin sa utos ng Diyos, it's only here. And it doesn't go down here. And it's not translated in our relationships, in our decisions. This Samaritan is truly a model of charity. And in helping others, we know that we have to take the risk. For love to be real, it must cost, it must hurt, it must empty us of ourselves. We must be willing to take the risk. Sabi nga nung kaibigan ko, ano mo, Father, ang hirap naman yan. Love until it hurts. Sabi ko, eh, sige, i-revise mo na lamang yan. Love until it hurts no more. That is what love is all about. It must empty us of ourselves. It must be concrete in the very it must be found in the small things. Love is in the small things. Hindi ba nakita natin yung action ng Samaritan? Pinunasan niya yung sugat. He carried it in his horse or donkey and then pinakiusapan pa yung innkeeper. That's what love is all about. It's very costly. It's in the small things that we do for our beloved. My dear friends, as we proceed with our Eucharistic celebration, we are reminded once again that at the twilight or sunset of our life, there is only one standard, one question. Have we loved? And it's not just simply love for the lovable, but love for the unlovable, for the last, the least, the lost, the little ones of our family, of our society, of our community. Amen. Please stand for the profession of